The organic chemistry is a branch of science that is mainly deals with the study of carbon compound. In chemistry, you are going to attain the theory for the 70 mark. The discovery pertaining to the atom, you are going to understand in your first PUC. The part 1 which consists of 10 questions from all the chapters. Hello my dear students, a warm welcome you all. Myself is Poonima, lecturer in Department of Chemistry at Vidyashram Pre University College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. My dear students, in our last discussion, we were discussed about the bridge course. Under that, we have studied about the different topics which are the basic course to understand the advanced courses in your pre-university journey. Today, I am going to introduce the first PUC, Chemistry. Before that, Chemistry syllabus, okay? Before that, I like to say that Chemistry is the easiest subject and you can make the fun with the chemistry only when you understand the chemistry, okay? So, let's see what we are discussing today. So, today we are discussing about the chemistry definition, branches and the course structure which means to say that we are going to discuss about the syllabus and for each syllabus or we can say that for each chapter what is the weightage and how the question paper pattern will go and what is the blueprint and which are all the books which is there to refer the first PUC chemistry let us discuss in this session okay so my dear students we already come to know that chemistry is a branch of science where we used to study the composition, structure and the properties of the matter. And also we come to know that in chemistry we have a five different branches. Can you recall it once again? Which of those? First one is a organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, as well as a analytical chemistry and a biochemistry. Remember, for your pre-university journey, you have only the three branches. Which are those? Physical chemistry, organic and a inorganic chemistry. And we all already know that the organic chemistry is a branch of science that is mainly deals with the study of carbon compound. Whereas inorganic chemistry, it is a another branch of science or a chemistry, it deals with the study of other than carbon compound. Whereas in physical chemistry, remember we are studying the properties of both organic and a inorganic compounds. And in pre-university journey, we used to call this physical chemistry as group 1. And inorganic chemistry as group 2 and organic chemistry as group 3. Okay. Physical chemistry as a group 1, inorganic chemistry as group 2 and organic chemistry as a group 3. Where the other two branches of chemistry that is analytical chemistry and the biochemistry. So, this analytical chemistry, you are going to understand only in the practical. Suppose if they give to do the or if they suggest you to do any practical experiment, you know, that time you will come to know that how to hold apparatus, how to do the experiment, that all comes under the analytical chemistry. So, this is a small introduction to the branches of chemistry. Let's see the pattern of examination. So, in your pre-university journey, remember you are going to write the chemistry as one of the separate paper. So, in chemistry, you are going to attend the theory for the 70 mark. You are going to write the theory for the 70 mark and remaining 30 marks is for the practical, is for the 
practical. But what happened? In your 10th standard, up to 10th standard, you used to read the chemistry as one of the part of science. But here, in the pre-university journey, you are going to write the chemistry as a whole subject for the 100 marks. In 100 marks, remember, 70 is for the theory and 30 is for the practical. So together, it will be form a 100 marks. So it is very easy to score out of out in the chemistry because the practical is very easy and the theory part is also very easy to understand and to write also. Let's see which row the syllabus will be there in a first PUC chemistry. So in the first PUC chemistry, you have 14 chapters or 14 units will be there in your first PUC chemistry. It has been divided into two parts. So in the first part, they have listed out the seven chapters. Okay, up to equilibrium, they are known as part one. From the redox reaction to the environmental chemistry, that is known as part two. So here they have divided the whole syllabus into part 1 and part 2. In part 1 you have a 7 chapter whereas in part 2 you have the remaining chapters that is a other set of chapters. Totally you have 14 lessons or the 14 chapters in your first PLC chemistry and here I have listed out the names of those units. Now let's see what is the core structure which means to say that already I have told you in the chemistry we divide the whole chemistry into three different branches right. So in physical chemistry that is in the group one which are all the chapters will come and what is the weightage for each chapter let us understand okay. In a group one that is in a physical ch chemistry we have five chapters. How many chapters we have? Five chapters. Okay. The first chapter is some basic concepts of chemistry. In this chapter, remember, we are going to understand what is the matter and how do we classify the matter based upon the physical state and also upon the chemical composition. In addition to this, we are going to understand the mole concepts and how to identify the empirical and the molecular formula and the types of chemical reaction that and all comes under your first chapter in your physical chemistry. And the weightage for this chapter is H. So from this chapter, you can easily get a 8 marks. Coming into the second one, that is structure of atom. Already in your 10th standard, you know the basic things about the atom. In addition to this, the discovery pertaining to the atom, you are going to understand in your first PUC. So for this chapter, the weightage is 9. Okay. The third chapter, that is the states of matter and a gaseous and a liquid, which means to say that, in this chapter, we already know that the matter will be exists in a three different states, right? But the first state that is a solid state, you are going to understand in a second PUC, okay? The remaining two state that is a gaseous state and the liquid state, under that you are going to understand the behavior and the nature of the gases and the liquid. And the weightage for this chapter is... 8. So you can easily get the marks. Coming into the thermodynamic. In this chapter, remember, you are going to understand the a study of heat and the heat change. And how does work is done on the system, that and all we are going to understand from this chapter. And the weightage is 10. And next is a equilibrium. In this chapter, we are going to understand the physical and the chemical processes. In addition to this, we are going to understand what is the acid, 
what is the basis what is the concepts of ph that and all which comes under the equilibrium chapter and it will carries 12 marks it will carries 12 marks from only from the group 1 that is in physical chemistry the total weightage is 47 so the total weightage will be 47 only from the a group 1 that is in a physical chemistry and let's see which all the chapters will be there in a inorganic chemistry again in a inorganic chemistry that is in a group 2 we have six chapters we have six chapter in the first chapter that is classifications of the element and the periodicity in a property in this chapter we are going to understand the basic things regarding to the periodic table and also regarding the trends already we have discussed in a bridge course the advanced one you are going to understand from this chapter and it's a small chapter from this you can easily get four marks okay and the next one is chemical bonding and a molecular structure in this chapter you are going to understand the types of bonding like ionic covalent coordinate hydrogen bonds that and all which comes under this chapter in addition to that we are going to understand what is hybridization and its type the main from this chapter you can earn level marks and it is one of the easiest concepts in your inorganic chemistry coming into the redox reaction we are all familiar with the redox reaction right so from this chapter also we are going to understand what is oxidation reaction and what is reduction reaction and how to find out the oxidation number and also what are all the types of redox reaction is there that and all we are going to discuss from this chapter and the weightage will be four and the next chapter is hydrogen so from this chapter it is one of the easiest chapter once again we are going to understand the physical and the chemical properties of the hydrogen and the compounds of the hydrogen also we are going to understand from this chapter and the weightage will be very small that is 3 okay next one is s block elements remember in our introduction of the bridge code we have discussed about the periodic table under that we also study the some of the blocks in a periodic table in your first pc also again you are going to discuss about the physical and the chemical properties of the s block element that comes under the group 1 and group 2 elements the group 1 and group 2 elements with the physical and the chemical property you are going to study from this chapter and the weightage will be 6 and next chapter is a some p block element so from this chapter you know only the group 13 and 14 the group 13 and 14 you are going to understand the remaining group from 15 to 18 you are going to understand in your second puc classes okay only two groups will be there that is group 13 and group 14 and the total weightage will be 7 so again from this inorganic chemistry the total weightage will be 35 okay you can easily get this 35 once you refer the inorganic chemistry chapters okay next we'll move on to the last one that is the organic chemistry that is also known as group 3 so here in organic chemistry only we have three chapters the first one is all about the general introduction to the chemistry with the principle and with the technique so this is a basis for your second puc because in this chapter you are going to understand the basic concepts of the organic chemistry that help us to understand for the second puc classes and the weightage will be 11 next is hydrocarbon 
in your 10th standard also you all have studied about the hydrocarbon here also we are going to understand the physical and the chemical properties of the alkane alkene and alkyne physical and the chemical properties of the alkane alkene and alkyne and the weightage will be there and once you come to the organic chemistry it is very easy to get the a uh, marks once you refer all three chapters okay coming into the last one that is the environmental chemistry in this chapter you are going to understand what is the air pollution what is the water pollution what is the pollutant what is the green chemistry and how does the acid rain will be caused that and all will comes under this chapter and the total weightage for this chapter is 2 so the total weightage from this organic chemistry is 23 so this shows that in your first pc you have five physical chemistry chapter and six inorganic chemistry chapters and only three organic chemistry chapters totally there are 14 chapters will be there in your first pc chemistry now let us move on to know about the weightage of each chapter already we know the weightage and how it has been distributed let us study okay in the first chapter that is in a uh, first lessons in a group 1 that is in a physical chemistry some basic concepts of chemistry here in this chapter the total weightage will be 8 how does it has been split so you can see that it has been split into one mark question two mark question and a five mark question okay here i have used the bracket to know you that these are all the question numbers in your examination okay once you see the question paper you know you will come to know that the first question always it will be come from the some basic concepts of chemistry okay and also the question number 11 that carries two marks will come from this chapter and also question number 27 coming into the second chapter the total weightage will be 10 in this chapter there is no one mark two mark or the three mark question directly we have two five marks question directly we have two five mark question coming into the chapter 3 that is a states of matter under that you are going to understand only the liquids and the gaseous state for this chapter we have one mark question and the two mark question and also we have a five mark question and the total weightage will be 8 and next one is a thermodynamic in this chapter remember there is no one mark question and the two mark question directly we have two five marks question coming into the last one that is in a equilibrium in this chapter we have only one mark question and two five marks question and total weightage will be 11 total weightage will be 11 so once you know this weightages from the each chapter how it has been split into one mark two marks three marks and five marks easily you can read out the each concepts in the chemistry and you can on 70 on 70 in your final examination let's see in the group 2 in the group 2 that is the first chapter classifications of the element and the periodicity of its property from this chapter you have a mark question and a three marks question and there will be no five marks question and the total weightage will be 4 and coming into the chemical bonding in this chapter there will be no one mark question directly you have two mark question and three three marks questions will comes from this chapter so which are all the question number question number 20 21 22 it always come from this chapter remember the bracket one which shows that these are all the question numbers will be there in your final question paper and the weightage will be 11 coming into the redox reaction again we have one mark question and a one three marks question and the weightage will be 4 and coming into the hydrogen in this chapter even though it is a small chapter we have only one 
3 marks question and the total weightage will be 3. Coming into the S block element, we have 1 mark question, 2 mark question and a 3 mark question and the total weightage will be 6 and there is no 5 marks question here. Coming into the some P block elements, in this chapter we have 2 questions from the 1 mark. So the question number 7 and 8 always come from this chapter and we have a 2 1 mark question and remember we have again 2 mark 1 question and a 3 mark 1 question and there is no 5 marks question and the total weightage will be 7. So like this if you understand how the weightage will be split you know you can easily read out the concepts in the chemistry. Let's say in the organic chemistry, in organic chemistry that is in the a basic one that is uh, some basic principles and in the technique in this chapter we have one mark question and two five marks question. The question number 35 and 36 always come from this chapter and the weightage will be 11. Coming into the hydrogen in this chapter we have one one mark question and two two mark question. The question number 16 and 17 always come from this chapter and also one five marks questions will be there and the weightage will be 10. Coming into the environmental chemistry, we don't have one mark, three mark and a five mark. We directly have only two mark question because the weightage for this chapter is very small. That is true. Hence, they have kept only for the two marks. This is how I have split out the each groups and the weightage for the each chapter just make you to understand what is there in a first music chemistry and along with the weightages. Okay. Now let us understand the question paper pattern. So in your first PUC chemistry, once you see the question paper, you have four different parts. Okay. So the part one always it consists of 10 questions. The part 1 which consists of 10 question. In that 10 question you have to attain all the 10 question. Each question will carry is 1 mark. So you can easily get 10 mark from the part 1. Whereas in part B you know you have 8 question. Okay. Under that you have to attain only 5. Each question will carry 2 marks and you can get 10 marks there also. In the part C, remember in the chemistry, it always comes from the inorganic chemistry. The part C is always from the inorganic chemistry. For that also, they will give the 8 question. So, you are supposed to answer only 5 question. Each question will carry 3 marks. So, the weightage will be 50. Totally you can get 50 mark. Okay. Coming into the part D. In part D, I have split it into 4th and 5th. The 4th main always consists of physical chemistry questions. That is in a group 1, which are all the chapters I have listed out. From those chapters only, they are going to ask the question. Okay. That is from the Part D, fourth one, it comes from the physical chemistry. Again, they will give eight question. Under that, you have to attain only five. Remember, each question will carry how many marks? Five marks. So, total you can get 25 marks. Coming into the part D, fifth one, it is already come from the organic chemistry chapters. It comes from the organic chemistry concepts. Remember from this chapter they will give three questions. You have to attain only two. Each question will carry 10, 5 marks. So totally you will get 10 marks. Okay. So from that you can easily earn 70 on 70 on your first PUC chemistry. Remember, we have four different parts. Okay. Part 1, part 2, part C and part D. 
part A, part B, part C and part D. Remember the part 1 which consists of 10 questions from all the chapter. Whereas the part B which also consists of 8 questions, you have to attain only 5 that also comes from the all chapter. But remember the part C, it always comes from the inorganic chemistry where you have to attain the 5 question for the each 3 marks will carry 15 marks. Okay. The part D which is divided into 4th and 5th. The 4th one is for physical chemistry and 5th one is for the organic chemistry. So these question will carry are 5 marks and you have to attain 5 question from this physical part and you have to get 25 marks. So this is all about the small introduction to the question paper pattern which is there for your first PUC chemistry. Now let's move on to the blueprint. Okay. Already have explained you to the each lessons or with the each chapter how they have split the weightages into 1 mark, 2 mark, 3 marks and 5 marks. Okay. Remember the 1 mark question it always comes from the all chapter. Again in 2 marks question you know they will give 8 questions you have to answer only 5. This is also come from the all chapters. Whereas part C they are going to ask the 8 question. You have to write only 5 that come only from the inorganic chemistry. The part D, they are going to ask the question for the 5 marks. Here it consists of both physical and organic chemistry. You must know that where they are going to ask in the 4th main as well as in the 5th main. Okay. Each chapter wise and each group wise have listed out the hours along with the weightages. Remember. In your first PUC chemistry, they are going to prepare the question paper for the 105 marks. They are going to prepare the question for the 105 marks and there are 37 questions will be there in your first PUC chemistry exam paper. Okay. Among them, you are going to attend only 27 each will carry 1 mark, 2 mark, 3 marks and 5 marks question and you are going to write the exam only for the 70 marks. So this is a, a small outlook about the chemistry. Hope you are understood. We will move on to the practical part. Already we come to know that which all the chapters will be there, weightage will be there. Let's see how do we do the practical. So once, in, once you enter to the chemistry, you must know the practical things also. So here you are going to attain the practical for the 30 marks. Under that, you are going to do a salt analysis. And another one, you are going to do the titration, that is a volumetric analysis. Only those two experiments you are going to do in your practical. Remember, in your salt analysis, they are going to give a inorganic salts for you. You have to find out the acid and the basic radical which is present in that inorganic salts. The best example I can give you is if you have taken out the sodium chloride inorganic salt that is a table salt. We know that it consists of both acid radical and a basic radical like a cation and a anion right. Like that in your practical thing you are going to identify the acid radical and the basic radical present in your inorganic salt. Usually they will give ammonium bromide, ammonium chloride, then aluminium sulfate, then barium chloride, barium chloride, calcium carbonate, magnesium sulfate. These are all the common salts that they are going to give you just to test for the acid and the basic radical and it's very simple. If you do that correctly, you know, you will get 10 mark. If you identify the acid radical and basic radical and if you name that inorganic compound, you know, you will get 10 mark. 
coming into the volumetric analysis that is the titration here you are going to do the two different titration among them any one will be given to you for your final examination okay the first one is a determination of concentration of the given NaO solution by titrating against the standard oxalic assay this is the first one the second one is determination of concentration of a given HCl solution by titrating against the sodium carbonate. These two titration you will do in your regular classroom but when you do in your final practical you know any one of the titration will be given to you. Okay. So from this titration also you will get 10 marks. In addition to this, you have a viva. Like in your primary classes, you have a viva. Here also, for the practical, we have a viva. And for this viva, you know, they will choose only those concepts, okay? About Werner, that is Bunsen burner, then pH experiment, equilibrium experiment, and also about the purification technique. From those four concepts, you know, they are going to ask the four questions for you. Each question will carry one mark. You can get four marks for that. In addition to this, what you have to do? You have to submit the duly completed certified record. If you write properly, you know, with the all experiment, you are going to get six marks. So, totally, you can get the 30 on 30 from your chemistry practical. Remember only two experiment you are going to do. First one is salt analysis. Under that we are going to do the different salts. Okay. And second one is the titration. Under that we are going to do the titration for the two different nature. Okay. And the viva and you have a submission of the record. For this you know you will get 30 on 30. Coming into the reference book. So, for your first PUC chemistry, refer the NCRT textbook. Along with this, you can refer the GVIT publication. In addition to this, you can refer the exemplar textbook that make you to understand how the question will come from the each chapters. At last, I like to say that Chemistry is very easy subject and you can score out of out in your chemistry subject. Okay. And I like to say that reach your goal before the goal kicks you. Thank you. We'll meet you in the concept class.